uh, here we have my skeletal Olex that shows the inner workings. It is a completely assembled camera with a dead motor uh, and a turret assembly on it. And uh, you can pretend wind it and then you can drive it forward. You can see the governor there doing its little spinny thing. And as you change the speed dial, you can feel the difference in force it takes to crank it harder at 12, easier at 64. Let's see if we get a little close up here of the governor assembly. Let's look at it from a different angle. driving it forward. This is the main, as I call it, drive ratchet. Yeah, you can see which gears drive what when you wind the motor. It's just the innermost ring that turns, which in turn is driving as you can see, the motor is attempting to wind. As this one has a broken spring in it, there's no tension. And then when you change directions, this is the direction the motor drives the camera. These here are the little ratchet paws that release when you go the other direction and allow that gear to turn separately from this gear. As you can see back in the corner there, the motor is winding. Now we'll go back in the forward direction. I don't know if there's much else to show on that. I said the, uh, as you change the speed dial and see how it slides the weight and springs against the lever arms to change the amount of pressure put on the drag bell. This camera has a fixed drag bell, meaning it's an older generation and you can tell that from this side by how close those two screws are together, meaning that a lot of the parts in this are different than parts in the later model cameras. Not to mention that governor is also a tad harder to tune correctly than uh, the later style. which would be this one.
that's mounted on the little ball and socket joint so it centers itself nicely making it much easier to deal with and that's all and uh, That's what it looks like. And this is, a, of course, the familiar side. But everyone knows what it looks like. And the inside. So that's what your Bolex looks like inside, as much as you can see. When I overhaul them, I have a tendency to leave the spool retaining arm out and the clicker out and just thread the holes for a 1032 screw and stick a screw in there. I leave these out because our students uh, for some reason mistaken this for this and they'll stick their hand under there and pull on that poor little sucker and bend it to the point where it'll slide over the stop and reach all the way down into here somewhere, which of course puts pressure on the take-up reel, which means the camera no longer takes up. I got so tired of replacing these that I just leave them out and thread the hole. Seems to be fine for the last 20 years. So anyway, if anyone's interested, that's what your Bolex looks like inside.